Welcome to the fire. It's real like your name on a flyer. Aishana has returned from her hiatus with a brand new single entitled Slippery When Wet. The ranchy track, produced by Jackson Stocks Records and the equal rights singers Legendary Records, was released on Friday. Slippery When Wet comes just days after fans began to speculate about Aishana's absence. The former Johnson Records artist, known for steamy photos and jaw dropping captions on social media, has been silenced on social media since early last month after she uploaded a video of her dancing in the face of a male patron. Aishana's Slippery When Wet. When my drip white up in my thorn So grip me on my neck Right till I'm slippery when wet Bust my cloud and make the rain fall Bust my cloud and make the rain fall When I'm in Following in the steps of Ariel Winter, Drew Bermore, Queen Latifah, and most recently Amber Rose, Tifa is considering breast reduction surgery. The dancehall diva, who is currently on tour in Canada on Friday, uploaded a photo on social media where she complained about her busty figure. When your boobs just won't let your face be the star of your body. Reduction, the singer questioned. Stick around for the breakdown. Bad. Subscribe now for daily reports on dancehall news and entertainment. Wagwan people, Wagwan, you see the topic, you see the pre. Well, two topics, two pre still. <laughs> Aisha and I released her new single entitled Slippery When Wet. And also, Tifa considers breast reduction surgery. But to Aisha and I do, Aisha and I released her new single Slippery When Wet, people. And before me even talk about the song Slippery When Wet, you know, before we even get into the song, when she released the song, you know, it's like, what up on the block, you see me, and you know, like, before I see the song, you know, I say I want to click play, but based off of the name, me I say John, no, I expect some kind of fear kind of thing, them, you see me, what she known for recently. But it's like, you know, when all a little thing, or when you watch a movie, then, and you see something come from out of space, whoosh, drop a ground, you see me, and whole heap of people surround it, you see me, and them just a walk around it and them afraid to touch it. We touching it is like we are click the play button. We're afraid to click the play button. We are surrounded it and afraid to click the play button. But we actually click the play button. Me click the play button now when the play button click. The song is actually a nice fucking song. <laughs> the song is really nice, people. I like the song, do it rude out of the explicit and them kind of thing there. But the song is really nice, catchy song too. As a matter of fact, me I go play a little piece of the song. Check it out. Tifa. When me I talk about Tifa, I shine a slippery when wet. Turn your life up Me are the kind of girl When my drip white up in my phone Slow, grip me on my neck Right slow, I'm slippery when wet yeah, people, fantastic song, you know. But I must warn you, there is one part of it that enough people now got like that little part there. She could have left it out still, but then again, she have her fans them out. They will like that little part there. Love that little part there. You see me? You know, like most of Lil Wayne song them bad, but Lil Wayne can't left out in freaky style. No matter where he do, no matter which song he put out there, a little bit of freak have to be have to be added to the mixture. So I shall not deal with it fear way. Our festive way, you know, like she's saying at the song. <laughs> like she's saying at the song, you know, she festive. Festive not, not actually mean what I shall not talk about still, you know. We know what fear festive mean. While you know festive mean a different kind of thing. But when she says she festive, we know what she had talk about. But like me, I said there's a part of it we are talking about slippery juicy and them kind of thing. Them you know that part the people never like the juicy part. But apart from that, people is a really good song the song is catchy really catchy really really catchy nice song like me i say and every way it can play loud bass off how out of that babe she clean it up like a clean version feet it can run you know like dexter that song there bring it to the owner or something like that and that kind of energy the man you kind of catch a song i want a song where you can sit down with your woman with and catch a vibe women out there me know when you hear that song they all think and catch in a mood because me not like she deliver upon this she deliver but because she known for that little thing there back then no and she still she no business about that she proud she proud see we are proud of her song equal rights gear back up buzz out there she proud of her song but based off of that song there a lot of people probably afraid to touch a song you touch a play button and hear what go on and like me i said there's a part time part tonight where 
enough people now go appreciate you, Zimmy. But apart from that, people, fantastic song. Good work done, pun it. Shot. I get slippery, juicy, and smooth. Yeah. And I need no boo. Tiffa, 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 Tiff. Tiffa. <laughs> so Tiffa uploaded a photo on Friday. Uploaded a photo on Friday with the caption When your boobs just won't let your face be the star of your body. Then she question like she write reduction with question marks, then laugh out loud, beer, smiley face. No, even smiley face, laugh out loud face, or dead with laugh face, whichever one you want to call it. But the photo with Tifa put out, I feel she just a talk about her breast. Come on, you put, on that, you put out a photo like that, or we something like that. Automatically, eyes are going to be drawn to your breasts. I just saw the thing set with a small breast, little breast from breast I showed to them extent they yeah, yeah go draw to it. You see it and them big perky stiff breasts there. Sorry some sounds of people but I just with them on my face is like Tifa actually put it out there. Then again if she put out the comment, the photo out there, we are gonna look on the thing and say yeah we like it in you know, but from you see that that I go draw attention to the breast. You see me? As a matter of fact, them kind of dress they don't make for draw attention to the breast. Them dress them make for, for draw attention to the breast car when they look up like that. You see me enough boobies I go show. Where the boobies not so big, dress come in size for all type of boobies and bodies. <laughs> and a stretch dress them they is it. So it's a stretch. She, it come like she put it out there for people, sister. Yeah, show off with the breast if I know you now consider a reduction from that. Then again, I don't know ones that think probably she tired of the eyes them automatically a channel from the titties. But if she had put out photos like that and wear dress like that, eyes are going to channel from the titties. When Christians don't want eyes on them, you know, Christian dress different. I now say if you dress like a Christian, you know. But if you don't want eyes on the titties, do not wear something so revealing. You see me? That's revealing a lot of titties. <laughs> Because she has said that's the only reason why she has considered breast reduction, reduction surgery. I don't know if she actually has got through with it. You see me? Because she has said, when your boobs just won't let your face be the star of your body, people quick for look on her breasts as she buck up on her ones. She see the ones that look down rather than looking at her face. You see me? I look on the titties. If me I talk to Tifa, I see them breasts there in front of me. me I wonder how, how me to actually behave. I'm a professional now and I, and I can be very professional so I don't have to look down. But me would personally look down for make you know say, yeah, your titties are sure. They're out there like that. Depending on the situation still if it's like a contract kind of thing. But if she for day up on an interview, so that's reach that that's in a time we'll start get the likes of Tifa and stuff on an interview them, you see me? And she for day and she wear something like that. I'm gonna be looking at the titties at one point. You see me? Me I gotta look upon them cause me I gotta say wow. Wow, me know our man never want to lose them them titty they <laughs> Come on, those titties. <laughs> I stopped talking about Tifa Titi that way there. But still, Tifa, I don't think she actually can see that breast reduction surgery. Like she just at the end they say you see them two big laugh out loud that them face they're dead with laugh. Dead with laugh. She's dying with laugh. Like she has said, really? Which breast reduction surgery? Look how them breasts look big and stiff and enough girl envy for them. They may have an implant kind of breast. They may come natural. I know say shit Tifa show up on them level because enough woman. Got the implant for them to get them kind of titties there. Enough woman, enough woman jealous over Tifa Titi right now. With Tifa show it up and go and like say, Oh, she don't like them all right. Tifa, you can't trick me. You cannot trick me, Tifa. But still, people. <laughs> I know now already a comment. <laughs> Jano, I know now already a comment. Paper, you see what time a clock, you see what time a knock. We are hurry up and get the fuck out of here. And as usual, my people, bad. Subscribe now for daily reports on dance hall news and entertainment. Barji was trolled by social media users on Friday after the angel uploaded a recent photo with the radio host. The king of the airwaves has been a popular meme among the millennials for some time now, but many have never gotten the chance to match the powerful voice to the face until now. Me not understand how Barji belly so big and him ever advise people to drink water and lose weight. One user wrote, while another added, for some reason I pictured Barji as an old white man. While another continued to say, where is the rest of Barji? He has the voice that would make you think he weighs almost 200 pounds. I honestly thought I would see a heavy looking tall dude.